Hello family, welcome again to Mama Joyce's Country Cooking. We got your good in the day. Had a lot of requests for it. Uh, there's so many different ways you can do this dish, but she's going to show us the way she's done it all my life anyway. It's fried squash. Good afternoon everybody. Glad to be with you today. I'm just making some fried squash and this is how I'm doing it. I got a little bit of cornmeal in my bag. Now I'm just chopping up some squash. And I'm going to put them in the frying pan and fry them with the onion. These are so good. There's a lot of ways to cook them. I also cook them in a microwave. They're good in the microwave. One day I'll have to show you that. When the garden starts coming in, the squash always comes first. And it's just overbearing. And if you don't kind of cook it every other day, it'll be piled up and get hard. And then there you with a bunch of run squash. So right now I'm just chopping these. Or I can get them in the frying pan. I like them either way you cook them, whether they're boiled, steamed, fried, especially with butter and salt and pepper on them. Mm-hmm. When I fry them, I put some onions in them. It's really good. I'm just chopping these up, little chunk lights. And I'm just going round and round. Chopping little pieces off. Yeah, Mama, you tell me you can get a lot more in the pan if you don't just try to make them into rings like that. Yeah. Some people fry these things one at a time, but I'm not going to stand and fry no pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Six little rings at a time. Not me. I'm going to fry it the way I know how to fry it. When you fry it this way, you get it nice and brown. You put an onion in it, salt and pepper, and that's it. Get your cornbread muffin. <laughs> Ain't nothing no better. Mm -hmm. You got that right. Just old country people cooking. Thank God. This goes good with pinto beans, too. Or butter beans. Oh, yeah. I'm just snipping the ends off. Going with that. You can slice just any way you can cut it to help you slice it. You do your way slicing it. <laughs> Y'all, in case you're wondering, yeah, right, look right here who's got his eye on me. Yeah, he's watching me. <laughs> okay. I did four squats, I think. Okay, that's about four medium-sized squash. All right. Okay, everybody, I've got my squash in here. It's probably four good medium-sized squash. And I got my cornmeal in it. And just kind of shaking it around, getting it coated good. Mom, how much cornmeal you got in that? I probably got a cup full of cornmeal. Because you can always keep this once you get the squash in the frying pan. Just zip it up and throw it in the freezer till you cook it the next time. Then you may have to add you some more meal to it. And it's a simple way to not have to do a whole lot of fussing when you're yeah, cooking. So it's all coated. And now I'm going to add about a, I'm going to do about a half of an onion in it. Half of an onion. Okay, everybody, our grease is melted. And we're going to put our squash down in it. Very easy, so the grease don't pop up on you. I'm going to start that cooking, and then I'm going to fix the onion, put about a half of an onion in it.
I love fried vegetables. Mm -hmm. I like them steamed. I eat more vegetables than I do meat. Mom, approximately how much oil did you start out with? I probably got a half a cup of oil in there. Okay. I'd rather have bacon grease, but I did, I'd run out of bacon grease, so that's the reason I'm doing it in oil. There's just something about cooking with bacon grease. It gives a bacony flavor to your food. It's not just a bland oil being used to cook. Well, it's got a flavor, so I love to cook the bacon grease. That's all of that. Now, just zip that up and throw it back in the freezer till the next time. Okay, I've got my squash in the oil cooking, so now I'm going to slice some little pieces of onions. Just get your onion, get it peeled, go around it and slice you some little pieces to let it cook with your squash. They don't have to be sliced perfect, just Thin it after where they'll cook right along with your squash. You can put as much onion as you want in it. You're not going to hurt it. I was thinking about putting a half of this one, and I had a pretty big onion. You're going to use it a while ago. You're going to uh, use the other half of that onion for some good old tuna salad later, right? <laughs> That's exactly right. I love tuna salad. Okay, that's good enough. Now I'm going to put a little salt on it and get my spoon and turn it over. Beginning to brown underneath. Mm -hmm. That smells good, folks. Mm -hmm. Now that's a straight out of the garden squash here, too. Now you can't beat that. Yeah. We'll let it brown now. We'll be doing fried green tomatoes, uh, everybody, real soon because we got them. They're in the garden. Yeah, that's probably the next thing we cook, the fried green tomatoes. And as everybody can see, Shepard is right there at her feet. Shepard's going to get his nose in it somewhere. That's <laughs> right. Okay, everybody, I'm going to add about a few tablespoons of butter because I like butter in everything I cook. The butter helps give it just a little bit better taste. Put about three tablespoons in there. And let it continue cooking. I can make a meal of this by itself. I can. Very easy. You get it good and brown. Mm. Mm -mm. 
This is the way the country people cook. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so yummy. It is. Versus all this modern stuff they cook together today. I'm just old fashioned, I guess. The way I learned to cook, and that's the way I'll always cook. <laughs> Yeah. It's going to cook for a while. As it, as it browns, we'll be continually turning it. Okay, everybody. Our squash is done. It's nice and brown. And it sure smells good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, this is done now. And it's time to eat. <laughs> Y'all, we, we got a little guest in here. <laughs> hey, everybody. I smelled something real good. And I could not pass it up. Oh, we in there where I was sitting, so uh, this is going to be mighty good for Mama George Country cooking. That's right. And well, I got separate at my feet. Look, y'all. We're going to taste test, and then everybody's going to eat. Okay, let me get me a little red bowl. Mm -hmm, that smells good. Good and hot. Good and hot. Okay, everybody, the squash is done, and it sure looks good. And I want to tell you, I fried it for about 20 or 25 minutes. And when you're frying it, don't take the spoon and do this. No. You want to gently put the spoon under and fold it over and go all around, fold it over, and letting it get good and brown. Because if you go in there and try all this, it's going to tear it all to pieces, and it's not going to look worth a flip. Oh, okay, this is the time of the day for taste time. And it's good. it's hot, but it sure does look good, too. <clears throat> thumbs um, up. She said thumbs up, everybody. <laughs> good. So fry you up some squash. Pour your little... Pickle pepper juice on it. Get your piece of cornbread and you got yourself an old-fashioned meal from Mama Joyce's Country Cooking. Bye, and I'll see you next time. God bless all of you.